So ATP related to the topic current voltage and resistance. The electricity experiment like connection of a voltmeter and meter is important and how to read them. Uh, better go through the, these points before starting. Uh, question one, some students are investigating a relation between a potential difference, which is a voltage and the current for a resistor. Uh, they use the circuit as shown. Uh, the crocodile clip is there. Uh, what is the advantage I hear? Like using a crocodile clip, we can use different length of this wire. As you can see, a sliding wire is there in a crocodile. If we clamp here, the crocodile clip, so this uh, the effective length, which we use for the experiment, if the cro according to this figure, the crocodile clip is positioned here. So this is the length of the wire we are using. But what if we change the position of a crocodile clip, then the length of a wire which we use for experiment will change. The crocodile uh, clip is connected to various position on the sliding wire. The current and the potential across the uh, difference across the resistors are measured. The reading on the potential uh, different, uh, the reading of potential difference voltage and current for a various position of a crocodile clip are there in table 1.1. Draw arrow on figure 1.2 and 1.3 to show the meter reading for a value in a first row. In a first row, the voltage is 0 0.4 and the current is 0 0.8. You have to draw a needle to show, you can use a screen annotation, draw a needle to show 0 0.4 volts on the voltage and 0 0.08 uh, for the current. Use a screen annotation where is 0 0.4 on the voltmeter. You just have to do 0 0.4. That will be 4.4. It's only 0.4, so when you draw, yeah, that, that's right, because each is representing 0.1, so four lines equals to 0.4, so this is 0 0.4. Then here, use the screen annotation to mark 0 0.08. 0 0.08, not 0 0.8, 0 0.08. Zero point zero eight. So it will be here. Why? Because there are like five. Uh, this is zero point one. So zero point zero eight is less than zero point uh, one. So and there are five representing the five lines from zero to each line is representing 0 0.02. So this is 0 0.02, 0 0.04, 0 0.06, 0 0.08. Yeah, 0 0.02 per line. So that's why four lines after that. So when you draw, uh, it's when look, this is a pointer. So the best way you start with a point and then uh, this was 0 0.4 we have to show. So we add and 0 0.4. And this was 0 0.08, so this will be 0 0.08. So these are like free marks in which you have to just draw an arrow to show the positions of the needle. Then we have to plot a graph for these values. We have, uh, I will note it down these values. So 0 0.4, 0 0.8, and voltage is on y axis 0 point, uh, 1.2 each like 1.4 difference is there between each and the current is on x axis they mentioned uh, 0 0.08 0 0.17 0 0.25 0 0.34 and 0 0.41 so first we have to label the axis On x-axis, we should have a current. On y-axis, we should have uh, the voltage. So this one, how to label one mark is for just labeling the axis. So this one is for current, as I mentioned, and the unit ampere. This one is for voltage, and the unit is volt. So for voltage, I, I need from uh, 0 to 2. 
So if I select like I need from zero to two and try to cover 70% of your graph paper, or more than 70% so of Mr. the So Mr. Graph... can we use the 0 0.01? Yes, you can use 0 0.01, like uh, 0 0.1, 2, 3. If you select 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this will be 1. Then this will be 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10, so this will be 2. So this is a voltage. For current, the smallest value is 0 0.08 and the highest is 0 0.4. So I have to reach to 0 0.4. So if I select each box is 0 0.1, so this will be 1 point, 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4. So if I select this as uh, 0 0.1, like 10 boxes equals to 0.1, each box is 0 0.01. Then, So this one will be 0 0.2. So this one I select as uh, 0 0.2. Then This I select as 0 0.3. Then this will be 0 0.4. So on X axis, I took 10 boxes equals to 0.1 on X axis. On y, this, you don't have to label, mention the scale, but if you mention it's fine, like you can mention here, the scale which you select, that you select that 10 boxes equals to 0 0.1 on x-axis and on y-axis you selected uh, 20 boxes equals to one or you can mention for one box as well like this is a scale for 10 i can even say one box equals to 0 0.1 here uh, or two boxes equals to 0.1 then we have to mark the points according to the values So 0.4, when the voltage is 0.4, the current 0 0.08, uh, this will be 0 0.09, uh, this will be 0 0.09, 0 0.08, and 0 0.4. So this will be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Then 0 0.8 and 0.17. So 0.17, this is 0 0.19, 0 0.18, 0 0.17 is there. And uh, this was 0 0.4, 5, this is 0 0.8, 1.2 and 0 0.25. Uh, so 0 0.25 uh, will be 5 boxes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, the uh, voltage is 1.2. This one is 1, 1 1.1, 1.2. Then we have uh, 0.34 and 1.6. So this was 1.2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 2 and 0.4, 1. So 0 0.41 will be.
point this is point four one and this will be two I think this one so these are the points we mark according to uh, the values given in which we were having uh, this was a voltage and this one is a current then after uh, labeling determine the gradient and show clearly how you obtain uh, the necessary information like so what we have to do we have to draw a line of a best fit as we know current and voltage are directly proportional so there should be a straight line which is passing through origin. So number of the points appear above and below should be same. And uh, when you're finding a gradient, take any two points on the line, but it's not like take the same point which you use to plot a graph. That is not the right way. Uh, the formula for the gradient, it is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what you have to do, You have to take any two points and show them like what points you took. Like I took this, these two points. And say this is a second. So you have to draw these lines to show that what point you took. Then the first point. The first point on x-axis is x1. Why you cannot take those green points which I marked? Because these points may, maybe the point may have error. That, that's why like student, you can also use zero as a point. Zero be a point. Zero can be a point. The best thing, you can take zero so it will say, make it very easy to calculate. You can take zero as a point as well. That's fine. So this will be X1. This will be y, Y1. X1 is 0 0.1. This is uh, 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, example 0 0.5. This one is uh, 0.3, X2, which is 0.39. And Y2 is equals to 1.9. So we have to use a formula for the gradient, which is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So we just substitute the values for us, the Y2. Uh, y2 was 1.9 minus y1 was uh, 0 0.5 divided by x2 is uh, 0 0.39 minus x1 is 0 0.1. So the gradient, uh, this will be 1.4 and 0.39 minus 0 0.1, which is 0 0.29. So 1.4 divided by 0.29. What's the answer for this? The value for the gradient? Uh, equals uh, 4.82. 4.82. So the gradient here is equal to 4.82, so you'll write here 4.82. Then they mention the resistance value is numerically equal to gradient. Like means the value of the G is equal to value of R. So what is the value of G? Value of G is 4.82. So where what is the value of R? The value of the R will be 4.82. But you have to write the unit that is ohm. Then students suggest that the potential difference and the current for this resistor should be proportional, like two are directly proportional. State whether your graph support this suggestion. We are getting a straight line passing through origin. Are they directly proportional? Yes or no? What we can say? Yes. 
So and and what is the reason for that? Because it's a straight line passing through origin. Whenever two quantities are directly proportional, so statement you will say yes. They are directly uniformly. Yeah, but but to be directly proportional, the the main condition is start from origin. Even if it's a straight line, if it does not start from origin, we don't say they are directly proportional. So yes, uh, yes. Here even you can write yes, voltage and current are directly proportional. And the reason is that because it is a straight line with the constant gradient passing through or starting from origin. So whenever two quantities are directly proportional, there must be a straight line and that straight line must start from origin. But what if there was a graph between the two quantities? It was a say, straight line, but not from origin. Are they directly proportional in that case? Yes or no? No. No. Because it is a straight line, but it's not starting from origin. Same thing. If it was a straight line on x-axis, again, it's a straight line, but not passing through origin. So they are not directly proportional. So condition, statement, state line, passing through origin, they are always directly proportional. Student notice that the sliding wire become very hot during the experiment. Suggest a change to the apparatus or a procedure that might prevent. Like usually electricity experiment, this is very common thing. Like even if you're using your mobile for a very long time, it will become hot. Same or its temperature increase. If you're using any device. Yeah, electronic... say increase cross-sectional area of the wire. Increase cross-sectional area, which will reduce resistance or uh, use low voltage supply. But here, the what we want, we want but if you increase the cross-sectional area, the resistance will decrease the so current increase. If the current increase, the heating effect will also increase because the heating effect the heating effect is directly proportional to the current. If more current is there in a the device, it will produce more heat. We want to prevent, we want to reduce the heating effect. So what we should do? Increase the area. So we can reduce cross-sectional area. So either we reduce cross-sectional area because when we reduce the area, the resistance will increase. If a resistance increase, what happened to the current? The current decreased. So it will produce less heat. Or you can use low voltage supply. If you use low voltage supply, less voltage, less current, so less heating effect. Or there's also another way we can switch off the circuit between the readings so that like it will cool down. So switch off the circuit. between the readings so that it will cool down or it will not remain hot for a longer period of a time. Is it uh, clear? Yes. 